Hello my beautiful Aquarians and welcome to your mid-September love reading. I'm going to look at the energies for you for the second half of October. I have done a pre-shuffle so let's get started. Um, what I love for you is uh, the Ace of Wands. Sorry, there could be noise. Uh, I get a lot of motorbikes roaring past here at crazy hours, so I apologize. Ace of Wands tells me that um, you feel passion for someone. Someone has ignited a spark and because it's an ace, it could be someone new. However, the judgment card did come up. So for some of you, this could be a past person who may have come out of the woodwork. Okay. And we are heading into Mercury retrograde again. So, you know, it's famous for exes coming back onto the scene. All right. It doesn't apply to everyone. But for some of you with the Judgment card, this is a card about resurrection and reincarnation. So for some of you, it will be an X. Um, for some of you, I'm, I'm picking up Scorpio. I'm getting strong Scorpio energy coming in for you. So for a lot of you, you will be dealing with the Scorpio. The King of Cups is here. So regardless of their star sign, um, it's someone who is in touch with their emotions and someone who wants to offer you their cup of love. Okay. This is someone who's emotionally mature. They're sensitive and they have a full cup that they want to offer. What I'm picking up in your energy though, is you have a choice to make. You've got choosing your path. All is possible. And you got this card here, the gates of triumph. So it's like, am I ready to walk through that gate? It, it looks quite tempting. Look at that. Look at the, the happiness represented by the yellow. You've also got greenery. So there's a lot of potential. There's a lot of um, potential for growth and expansion, happiness. Um, it says success expands in your life. So it's, it's you choosing to walk through that gate. So I wonder why you're hesitating. It, it looks quite good, but let's take a look at your person. Okay. Let's have a look at your person of interest. Just clear some room. All right. Angels and spirits show me. Aquarius's person of interest. Show me Aquarius's person of interest in the second half of October 2020, please. Oh, wow. Okay, we have the two of cups that flipped out. Okay, soulmate connection. Amazing. Lots of water energy for you. Um, your hesitation might eventuate because this person seems to be in a bit of a hurry they might be moving too fast for you whenever i see the knight of swords in the reverse i feel it's someone who's rushing it's someone who is um trying to force something prematurely okay so this might be a red flag for you I definitely feel for a lot of you, it's a Scorpio and I definitely feel like um, for a lot of you, it will be someone from the past. The Six of Cups just fell out and this is a card about past life connections or someone who is coming back from the past could be an ex. It's a very nostalgic energy. It talks about memories. You might be hesitating because not only did we get the Knight of Swords in the reverse, but we also have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So you're probably worried that this person is just up to their old tricks again, wanting to fly in and out of your life. And you want stability. You're worried about mind games, Five of Wands in the reverse. Okay. Let's have a look. Those were just the cards that fell out. So let's have a look at um, when I shuffle, what comes out. Show me about Aquarius as person of interest, please. What is their energy? What are their feelings towards Aquarius? And what are their intentions towards this connection, please?
Yeah, okay. So the devil card is here. So this could be someone who you feel tied to, someone who you feel bound to. There could be a very strong sexual connection between the two of you. Um, but there is a level of toxi toxicity when the devil comes in. It's some kind of sabotaging behavior or a behavior that sabotages the connection. It can be codependency, it can be fear, and it can be addiction. But there's definitely a sense of unfinished business for this person. Okay, they feel like the cycle has not come to an end. Um, they feel like there's a lack of closure between the two of you. And I feel like their intentions are quite good. The King of Pentacles came out in kind of like the upright position. It was almost sideways. Um, but I feel like this person does want to offer stability with this King of Pentacles, okay? Could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. So why? What is this person's intentions? Let's clarify that. Okay, the Tower. So I feel like this person has come in quite suddenly and unexpectedly. Um, and I do feel passion, okay? If, if I see the tower and, and if I see um, the devil, it means that there is a great deal of passion in the connection, okay? The Ten of Swords fell out again, all right? So I do feel like it's someone who you shared a relationship with in the past and it's come to an end for many of you, okay? Ten of Swords. Nine of Swords. So there is a, a strong sense of um, unease here. The Nine of so Swords talks about sleepless nights, restlessness. Look, Just look at this card. It speaks for itself. This woman is stressed about something. It's playing on her mind like no tomorrow, okay? It's overwhelming her. It's all-consuming, okay? So... I actually feel like that's more your person, more than it is you. They are all strung up about this connection, okay? What are their feelings towards Aquarius, please? What are their feelings towards Aquarius? What are their feelings? The Empress, wow, passion. I said to you before, with that Devil card and the Tower, the Empress... For me, when it comes to feelings, it is passion. They want growth with you. But we have, interestingly, the King of Swords, which seems to be a little bit contradictory. But what I'm getting is I, I'm getting that they feel a strong intellectual connection between the two of you. You're definitely... Um, weighing heavily on their mind they're up in their heads okay because i've got a lot of swords coming from their direction let's see what else we can get what is um what's coming in between the two of you i'm going to use the uh, zombie tarot okay what is the main obstacle between you and this person of interest what's the main obstacle please spirit the Page of Wands, it could be that this person is a little bit immature, it could be that you feel like they're offering not enough, okay, because this is only a page, right, this is kind of, this is just attraction, they might have sent you a, like a flirty message and you're kind of like, dude, I'm looking for something a little bit more serious. The obstacle is that you had this really painful ending with them. Here's the Ten of Swords again. We have the Queen of Wands. This could be a person that came in the way between the two of you, a fire sign possibly. Or this could just talk to somebody feeling angry and somebody wanting to... Make it take a stand because they they know their own worth here. Okay, the Queen of Wands is very confident, and she knows what she brings to the table. Okay, let's clarify the Queen of Wands as an obstacle in this connection.
four of pentacles yeah someone holding back because they want to know what exactly this person has to offer okay someone being cautious is what i'm getting with the four of one uh, four of pentacles let's get your advice what is Aquarius's advice, please, when it comes to this connection? What is Aquarius's advice when it comes to this connection, please? What should Aquarius do? What needs to be considered in this connection, please? In second half of October 2020. Be careful, okay? You already are. You are being cautious. And this person is in a hurry, okay? Because we have shaking the hourglass. The be careful card is saying that, yes, unfortunately, some people do feed off the energy of others. Whether this is intentional or not, remember that it's not personal, but you do need to ask yourself why you allow this to happen. What brought you to this person? No one's to blame, but consider these questions and see what answers arise within yourself. The shaking the hourglass card is pretty straightforward. It's just asking you not to rush the process because love is not forced. Patience is needed. And especially when you've got this card, because when we rush connections often red flags go unno unnoticed or we just we just sweep them under the carpet um because we we're on a mission and that never helps because the red flags will always be there and they'll just get worse and worse as time goes on um what I'm getting a sense of, Aquarius, is you, you should never go back to the source of your pain. Now, there's plenty of quotes and sayings, but because we're heading into Mercury retrograde, I, I'll definitely not be able to, to relay them to you accurately. But, you know, never feel like the person who caused the, the wound to begin with. Never feel like that they can be the one to heal it. That's what I'm getting it from this card here, the Band-Aid card. Um, only you can heal it. Only you can give yourself that closure that they never were able to give you. Um, never look to anybody else, whether it's this person, whether it's a new person, never look to anybody else to heal your pain. Another person cannot heal your pain. Okay, you just need to give it time to heal and recover. Okay, let's see what this deck says in terms of your advice. So we've got a card here asking you to follow your intuition. That's what's going to give you clear insight into your purpose. Channel your energies into following your truth and your life will flow beautifully. Um, I'm just going to get the tarot to clarify your advice. What is the advice for Aquarius in the second half of October 2020, please, when it comes to love? What is the advice? What is the advice, please? What's the advice for Aquarius in love?
All right, so you have the Nine of Wands. So have your guard up. But again, you're being told to be cautious. Be cautious with this new person or this offer that's being presented to you. Ace of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. The Nine of Wands has his guard up for a reason, okay? Because he's been through a lot on his journey and he's been hurt. Look, again, you've got the Six of Cups. That's so interesting. So as advice, that would be keep it light, keep it playful, make sure there's a strong friendship foundation within this connection um, if you want to take it any further. But there's genuine love and affection here with the Six of Cups. It keeps coming back for you. It's like that's like the third time at least I've seen it. King of Pentacles in the reverse. What I'm just seeing from your cards, it's coming out again and again. Only really accept this offer if this person can prove themselves to be reliable. It's pretty straightforward because here we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Make sure they have their shit together. Make sure their words are matching their actions. So I'm just going to pull one more card or a couple more cards for one more deck. The Romance Angels, okay? Just to finish off your reading. Romantic feelings, that's like the Six of Cups energy. Show me what's going on for Aquarius, please. Show me what's going on for Aquarius in the second half of October 2020. In love, please. forgiving and learning and you've got it's safe for you to love so I, I am detecting a lot of you are very very cautious when it comes to this person and there's a good reason for you to be careful however people do make mistakes and at some point you do need to decide you know is it possible to forgive um, this person I'll never forget what, what happened but can we actually um, give this a red hot go is it going to work second time around? Has this person learned from their mistakes? Okay, so um, I do hope this has been helpful, Aquarius. Please do leave feedback. I always appreciate that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.